Carly, thank you so very much. Starting today and through the weekend, a series of trigger laws will go into effect across the U.S. in wake of the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Abortion is currently banned in Texas, but this new law will create harsher, harsher penalties effective today performing any abortion except those to save the life of a woman is a first degree felony. The penalty is up to life in prison and a $100,000 fine. There's no exception for rape or incest. Dr. Travis Braywood, political science professor over at Texas A&M University Kingsville, joins us live to discuss this further. Dr. Braywood, it's so good to see you. It has been quite a time, uh, but we're getting right back into it. Right now in Texas, the big thing changing is the punishment part of uh, banning abortions. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So up to this point, remember we had SB8, which allowed private citizens to bring lawsuits against people that were aiding or abetting women seeking what then was a lawful abortion. However, now we've seen we see the birth of a new traditional law where the state is now having their prosecutors not go after the women seeking the abortion, but rather the people that are providing the abortion. So doctors, clinics, things like that. So this means you know, even seeing before this trigger law went into effect at midnight uh, last night, we saw all the clinics in Texas stop performing abortions preemptively to avoid lawsuit. Well, you just kind of hinted at something that uh, the government here in Texas is already receiving pushback on, and that's from the DA's district attorneys. Even our own uh, district attorney, Mark Gonzalez, is signed on with other DA's saying, we're not going to prosecute this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, shortly after the Supreme Court ruling in the Dobbs decision, which allowed the states to ban abortion in pretty much all circumstances, we saw across the nation over 80 DAs say we're not going to prosecute these things. Um, in Texas, I think we have about five or so, mostly in the larger urban areas, saying that, look, we can control our resources. We're the district attorneys. We have finite resources. We're not going to go after these people performing these procedures. Uh, something else we're also hearing about, I don't know what the, what the talk is right now, but you might be um, abreast of this, is uh, the state was planning on punishing companies and businesses that were paying for their employees to go out of state for abortions, uh, seeking some type of legislation. Is that something you're hearing more about or do you know anything about right now? Yeah, that's one of two major issues that it seems like Texas is going to look at next legislative session. One is the DA issue, which you mentioned, which is next session there's talk about um, allowing district attorneys in all of Texas to prosecute abortions for those that refuse to. And then the other is going after companies that provide assistance or going after these groups that provide assistance. That's going to raise some major constitutional issues on the freedom to travel interstate. Okay. Uh, look, we're going to continue this conversation because there's a lot to uh, break down here. But uh, Dr. Braidwood, always a pleasure visiting with you. We'll see you in the next 30 minutes. If you have a question about this topic right now, anything you want to know about abortion in our state, please send us a text at 361-855-6397.